KP Classes, dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone, this is Munali Mishra from KP Classes and UPSC has released 53 vacancies for the post of Deputy Architect in CPW. In this video, we are going to know about all the basic details that you are supposed to be aware of before filling up the forms or before applying for this particular recruitment position. Now the first thing is that the post is for the Deputy Architect in Central Public Works Department and the pay scale is level 10. Now the number of vacancies which is which are released is, is basically 53 which is quite a good number of vacancies and this is the vacancy breakdown as per the different criteria. So you can have a look at it to get an idea. The maximum age limit is 35 years and the essential qualification that is the bare minimum eligibility criteria as per the education criteria is listed that a person should have a degree in architecture from a recognized university or institution and as well as a person should be registered as an architect with the Council of Architecture under the Architects Act of 1972. So basically you should have an architecture degree and you should also have a, a registration with the COA. Apart from that, uh, the headquarters is basically New Delhi but liable to serve anywhere in India. This is what is written in the notification. Okay, The postings can be anywhere. Now, the one thing that comes to our mind, what are the important dates? Like what are the dates of form filling and everything? Okay, So the form filling is going to start, basically it has already started from today onwards. That is 8th of July onwards itself. Uh, and the last date of your form filling will be up till 27th July 2023. Okay. That is still 11.59 p.m. 23 July, uh, 27 July 2023. And the last date for printing of completely submitted online application forms is 28th of July 2023. Okay, so make sure you don't wait for the last day. The uh, on applications have already started. Uh, the application form has already been opened. You can start filling up. Please don't wait till the last day. Uh, in order to avoid any kind of hassle, any kind of last minute, uh, you know, payment hassles, make sure you do all the form filling process before the last day itself. And also make sure to take the printout of the application, okay. Now, the question that comes to our mind is what is the uh, selection criteria? How will the selection be done? Now, in initially, it is the selection criteria is interview based only. But in case if a large number of applications are received, then the number of candidates will be shortlisted and then the shortlisted candidates will be called for the interview, personal interview. Now we do know that obviously there is going to be a lot of applications which will be sent for this particular post. So assuming that a shortlisting criteria will be there, assuming that you know shortlisting will be required, uh, the notification says that the different, you know, the shortlisting will be done based on different criteria. What are these criteria? Basically, the shortlisting can be done based on the, uh, you know, work experience, uh, based on your educational qualification, high level educational qualification or based on your recruitment test as well. It can also be done based on a recruitment test. So generally a recruitment test is only held, uh, a test is held for the shortlisting process. Okay, And in case the test is held, which is what obviously it is going to be held, uh, the weightage ratio would be 75 to 25%. That means 75% will be for the recruitment test and 25% will be for the interview. Okay. So, in case the uh, test is being held or the exam is being held for the deputy architect post of uh, UPSC, then the 75% weightage, which is quite a huge amount of weightage, will be for the recruitment test and 25% for the marks that you receive in interview. Okay. Now, Obviously, since it's such a good position, uh, such a huge number of posts for such a reputed organization, obviously there is going to be a lot of competition and wherever there is a lot of competition, there has to be a, a good amount of preparation. So this is where our role comes into play. KP Classes is starting a new batch from 11th of July for the preparation of your Deputy Architect post in your CPWD organization. Okay. Now, uh, uh, Based on the analysis of the past few years paper, we have seen uh, the syllabus also, based on the past few years syllabus also, we have seen the syllabus is same to that of the gate examination. So that is definitely we are going to cover everything in detail without any problem. And if you want to get to know more about as per how the course is going to be proceeded, uh, about the fee structure and everything, you can basically get in touch with our counsellors. You can call on the number given in the description box and you can get in touch with the counsellors to know more details about it. Okay. 
Apart from that, if you have any other queries, please feel free to uh, put the uh, queries down in the comment box and uh, subscribe to the channel as well as like the video, subscribe to the channel to stay updated about new posts, new releases and all of those things. Definitely a detailed video will be made about this particular which will, uh, you know, post which will be talking about the syllabus and all of those things. So please subscribe to the channel in order to stay updated about the latest. Thank you very much.